our father in the name of your son jesus christ we are grateful lord that you've given us another day to hear your word and even to honor you with everything that you have given unto us every opportunity you give us my father is a blessing and a gift we are receiving it with gladness knowing that heavenly father the word that comes to us it's going to do mighty things in us it is going to transform our lives change us to become vessels that will glorify your name we thank you, Lord, that as your word reaches many that are near and far, the King of glory, you're going to turn their lives, O oh God, so that many will come to the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, receive him as Lord and Savior, and have their lives changed to glorify your name. We thank you and we give you honor that everyone that is unwell today is receiving their healing. Everyone that is discouraged today is getting their courage back. Lord, those ones, King of glory, who have given up in life, my Father, you are lifting them to a level where they will desire to honor you, ignite their hope, O oh God, so that they can walk in your ways to please you. We honor you and give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome to our daily devotion. This is Bishop Dr. Grace Kariuki of Amazing Grace, International Ministries and Abundant Glory. International Ministries, this is Mother to the Amazing Champions and Mother to the CMCs around the globe. I welcome you to partner with us to our website at www.agracem.org. Also follow us on Facebook at Karaoke Bishop Dr. Grace and follow us on YouTube at Bishop Dr. Grace Karaoke. I believe the Lord is going to use you powerfully even as you spread this word by sharing and also commenting, liking and letting many, many people know that there is a word that is here to nourish their souls. And now we started yesterday with the topic on Jeshuran and we were able to find out that Jeshuran is the upright one and the upright one is the children of israel and it is you that has given your life to jesus christ and allowed the lord to guide you and to lead you isaiah 44 verse 2 we read this yesterday but we read verse 1 to 6. today i just want us to have a look at verse 2 because you're going to look at many other messages because our message for today is about chosen Jeshuran is chosen. Jeshuran is not just a Jeshuran, a right, a, an upright one, but it is just an upright one, but it is because he is chosen. That is why he can afford to be upright, because it is not by his power, but it is because of God Almighty leading and guiding. Isaiah 42 verse 2 from ESV. Thus says the Lord who made you, who formed you from the womb, and who help you. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant Jeshuran, whom I have chosen. That is what the Lord is calling Jeshuran, and is telling him not to fear, because the Lord God Almighty is the one who has chosen him. If God has chosen you, has formed you from your mother's womb, you should not fear anything. You should not be troubled. Your heart should be filled with gratitude, knowing that the King of Kings is mighty and is doing a new thing. Jeremiah 1 verse 5 from the Amplified Bible says, But I formed you in the womb. I knew you and approved of you as my chosen instrument. And before you were born, I consecrated you to myself as my own. I have appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Hear that, that God has approved you as, my, as a chosen instrument. You are not just chosen, but God uses you as an instrument. And an instrument is able to do mighty things. He produces sound, is able to do great things. An instrument is enables you to do that which you yourself cannot do, but the instrument enables you to even become better. You are a chosen instrument that God is purposing to use and do. He has already approved you. You are not just chosen, but know that you are approved. Not just chosen, but also you are consecrated and the Lord calls you his own. Can you imagine you belong to God? The honor of Jeshuran is God himself. 
So whoever that is coming to give you trouble, the enemy should not trouble you. Just let the enemy know Jeshuran belongs to God. And there is nothing you can do about Jeshuran because I am of the Lord. I'm appointed by him. He owns me. And the owner knows what to do with me. So nobody should question you because the Lord God Almighty is the one who is doing a mighty work in your life. Then he continues to say in Galatians chapter 1 verses 14 to 16, New Living Translation. I was far ahead of my fellow Jews in my zeal for traditions of my for the traditions of my ancestors. But even before I was born, God chose me and called me by his marvelous grace. Then it pleased him to reveal his son to me so that I would proclaim the good news about Jesus to the Gentiles. When this happened, I did not rush out to consult with any human being. Aha! This is what the Lord the, uh, Paul was telling the people. He was zealous. He was zealous, just as you are zealous in wanting to keep the traditions of your mother, your father, your grandparents, your great-grandparents. You want to keep their traditions. You want to tell us you are a Christian because of your grandparents. They were even church elders or even they were pastors. I'm here to let you know that you know what? You cannot uh, just continue to be zealous of those traditions that you know i belong to this church i belong to this other one this is our denomination that does not matter what matters is have you been chosen by god because you know what before you are even born he chose you so don't stay where you are in that rottenness in that kind of lifestyle you're living which you know it doesn't please anybody it doesn't please god I am here to let you know that God chose you and called you by his marvelous grace. When you allow him to become your Lord and Savior, you are saved by his marvelous grace, called by his marvelous grace. And you know what? He is going to reveal his son to you. And you know the purpose of him revealing the son to you, that is calling you, choosing you and revealing his son to you, it is so that you would proclaim the good news about Jesus to the Gentiles. Those people who do not know him, your work is to let them know. And you can let them know by the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you behave, the way you do your things. You are able to let those ones who do not know the Lord come to the revelation and even desire to love this God that you love and serve him. And this happened. And you know what? He is not consulting human beings. He is not consulting any media. He is consulting God Almighty himself because he's the one who called him. So can you purpose to walk in God's way because he's the one who has called you and anointed you and set you apart. Genesis 18 verses 19. New International. Okay, it is NIV. For I have chosen him so that he will direct his children and his household after him to keep the way of the Lord by doing what is right and just, so that the Lord will bring about for Abraham what... Um, okay, so you know what? Um, God chose Abraham. And when he chose Abraham, he wanted Abraham to direct his children and his household after him to keep his word, to keep his word and even do what is right that is why god chose him and when he chose him he was not uh, just choosing him just to be in the kingdom of god or just uh, to protect him from the enemy but the reason why he chose him it was so that he can walk in god's way to please him and do that which god will glorify the lord god almighty you are chosen not just to be chosen you are chosen so that you can even bring up your children in the ways of our God. Bring them up in the way that will please the Lord, the way it glorifies the Lord. And I'm going to read it again from ESV. For I have chosen him. Okay, let me let me start from um let me start from verse 17. The Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham what I am about to do? Seeing that Abraham shall surely become 
a great and mighty nation and all the na- all the nations of the earth shall be blessed to in him for i have chosen him that uh, that he may command his children and his household after him to keep the way of the lord by doing righteousness and justice so that the lord may bring to abraham what he has promised him so th- this is what the lord is doing to you too because he has chosen you he is not going to hide the things he wanna do if he wants to destroy you are going to be you, he's going to make it known to you and if he wants to do something he's not going to hide it from you and that is why and the, what he wants you to do is to make sure that your children and your descendants they know the lord they are brought in the ways of our god that is why we need to make sure that our children are walking in the ways of our god and we make sure that even our grandchildren they are also being taken care of in the things of our god so that the lord will be able to fulfill what he has promised there is not going to be any promises fulfilled if we are not going to do that which god has commanded us to do and especially in bringing up our children and our descendants may the lord help us to bring our ancestors because we are chosen by god and being chosen he wants to fulfill his promises and for him to fulfill what he has promised we have to obey and do that which he has called us to do and um isaiah 42 verse 1 here is my servant whom i uphold my chosen one in whom i delight i will put my spirit on him and will bring justice to the nations the lord wants us to bring justice to the nation that is why he is calling us the chosen the jeshurans are chosen so that we we may delight in the lord and we he has put his spirit upon us so that we are able to bring justice to the nation there is no way the, the nations are going to experience the justice that the Lord wants until we allow the Lord to fill us with his Holy Spirit. And for us to be filled with his Spirit, it is to allow him to open our hearts to receive him, to open our hearts to receive the Holy Spirit so that he can lead us and guide us in his ways. Isaiah 45 verse 4, For the sake of Jacob, my servant of Israel, my chosen I summon you by name and bestow on you a title of honor. Though you do not acknowledge me, we better acknowledge the Lord. Because the Lord has given us a title of honor. Jeshuran is a title of honor because he's calling us the upright ones. May the Lord help us and guide us so that we may be able to walk in that title that has been bestowed upon us to live according to his ways because we have been chosen. May the Lord bless you as you purpose to walk in his ways as you desire to serve him and as you desire to be faithful to the Holy One of Israel who has chosen you, Jeshurun. God bless you for now. Log into our website and partner with us at www.agracem.org. Also, Follow us on Facebook at Karaoke Bishop Dr. Grace and also on YouTube at Bishop Dr. Grace Karaoke. Subscribe, share, and even comment and let's hear what God is doing as you subscribe on our th- channels. Be blessed for now. I look forward to be with you tomorrow. If today's message was a blessing, tomorrow is going to be fire. God bless you for now. Shalom, shalom. Shalom.